Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how to make a flight from KLX to KSFO using the programmed FMC and autopilot. We'll be flying the Flight Factor Boeing 777. For those of you who did not see the FMC tutorial, check the link here and in the video description. We are only going to focus on the autopilot and the flight in itself and will therefore not worry about seatbelt signs, lights and so on. We are taking off from runway 25 right, taking the Venture 5 departure towards KSFO where we will arrive at runway 28 right. We are at the gate pushing back and have just started up our engines. This is a good time to set up the aircraft for the takeoff. As we planned in the last tutorial, we will set our flaps to 5. And set our trim horizontal stabilizer to 5.75. Now we will set up our MCP for the departure. An initial flight level of 3000 feet. This is the altitude we should be at or below while crossing the 154 radial of SMO. We will turn heading to track which takes wind into account and set it to the departure runway heading which is 250 degrees. We will set the indicated airspeed to our calculated V2, 132 knots. And now we are ready for taxiing to our departure runway. While taxiing, we will set the auto brake to reject the takeoff or RTO. Arm the auto throttle, set flight director to on, turn on LNAV and VNAV, then we'll set the FMC to maximum climb rate, a takeoff by pressing root, performance init, thrust limit, change CLB2 to CLB. Now we are on runway 25 right, ready for takeoff. Add a little thrust, press takeoff go around or the toga switch which turns on the auto throttle. V1, rotate. Positive rate of climb, gear up. Let us turn autopilot on. Speed intervene to an indicated airspeed of 190 knots. The aircraft starts leveling off before we reach 3000 feet. When we reach the 154 degree radial of SMO, normally we would expect ATC to tell us when to head for VTU. But since this tutorial is without ATC, we are just going to set the heading on the MCP to the heading of VTU and then press the knob to override LNAV. Now we can set the altitude on the MCP to our cruising flight level of 28,000 feet. 
flaps up, set auto throttle to FMC control by pressing the knob. One last thing we need to do is to put in VTU as our next waypoint. This is done by clicking VTU on the legs in the FMC and then click the top herbal waypoint and press execute to activate the change. Then we need to activate our lateral navigation as set by the FMC again. This is done by clicking the L nav button. Now we are on our way to our cruising flight level and the aircraft is flying by itself. So let us take a short break. <music> Descent still at a flight level of 28,000 feet. We'll set the flight level to 4,000 feet. If we had done this just a little earlier before reaching the top of descent, the aircraft would have started to descend by itself. But now we'll have to take over the vertical navigation by setting the descent rate to, for example, minus 2,000 feet per minute. Set the heading to the missed approach heading, in our case 280 degrees. We'll check our V ref speed and decide our flaps landing setting. Press init ref, set the landing gross weight at landing, ours will be about 167 ton. Let us decide a landing flap setting of 25 and a V ref speed then of 140. 2, 5, 140 and press the button to the right of flap speed and press back to legs. The last thing we need to do at this stage is to set the auto brake. We're going to go with a setting of 2. Also remember to set the altimeter while reaching the transition altitude, in our case 18,000 feet. Let's take a little break until the approach. We are back here at an altitude of 6,000 feet at an indicated airspeed of 250 knots on our approach to KSFO. Let us reduce airspeed to 220 knots. Make sure that the green marker on the navigational display is near Menlo by changing our vertical speed.
set the flight level for a missed approach, in our case 3000 feet. Let us reduce our airspeed to 200 knots and set flaps 1. Set and change the vertical speed so that the vertical ILS marker on the PFD is in the center. Now we are going to do a left turn and the lateral ILS marker will start to move. When we have ILS capture, press the VNAV and app buttons on the MCP. Now our autopilot will fly the aircraft towards the runway while trying to keep the ILS markers in center as you can see. Set speed to 190 knots, arm the speed brake, set flaps 5, gear down, flaps 15, Set speed to V ref, which is 140 knots. Set flaps 25. Now we'll just prepare for reverse thrust when we reach the runway. When we reach the ground, engage reverse thrust and wait for the aircraft to speed down to exit the runway via a taxiway. This tutorial has reached the end and hopefully you have learned something from it. Please feel free to comment the video and sit back and enjoy the landing from an external point of view. Thank you for watching.